Communications Centre and Legal Proceedings are two new tools that are part of your CPVO user area. Here's a short tutorial on how to work with the Communications Centre. When logging into the user area, you will see two new options on your initial screen, called Communications Centre and Legal Proceedings, respectively. By clicking on Communications Centre, you will get access to the respective new application. Within the Communications Centre, you will see your inbox with any messages awaiting you. You can click on a message to read it. Each message sent via the Communications Centre will show up as you can see right now. Once you have read a message, you reply to it by clicking on the Reply button. You can always add documents to a message by clicking at the bottom left of the pop-up screen. You can also save a draft of the message for later sending by clicking on the orange button. From the Communication Centre inbox, it is also possible to send new messages by clicking on the blue text at the top. A new window will pop up requesting you to choose a type of communication. You will also have to mention at least one eight-digit file number from the CPVO to which your message refers. Type this number in this field, then click on the cross at your right-hand side. Repeat this operation for each file number you want to add. You can also click on Import Application Number List and copy-paste the list of file numbers. It is important to note that you will always need to mention at least one eight-digit CPVO file number assigned to a CPVR in your user area. Your new message should have a subject as well as a body of text. Just as with replies to messages in your inbox, additional documents can be added by clicking at the bottom left of the pop-up screen. Your message can now be either sent via the green button or saved as a draft. By the orange button. After clicking on send or send reply, you will access the screen with a confirmation of receipt in PDF format. Drafts can be consulted in the draft folder of the communication center. Click on the draft in question to continue writing. You can then send the message once it's ready. You can access all your send messages in the folder sent items. By clicking on the message, a screen will pop up with the details of the message and the PDF of the confirmation of receipt. You can archive your messages by clicking on the appropriate icon on the right-hand side of the message line. You can also archive several messages at the same time by clicking the check boxes on the left-hand side of each message and then clicking on the blue button, Archive Selected. The full list of archived messages is available in the folder, Archive. You can unarchive messages by clicking on the relevant icon Unarchive. We thank you for using the CPVO Communication Center.